Hi there and welcome to another GHacks technology news video brought to you by GHacks.net. My name is Brian, and today we take a look at the Malwarebytes 3.1 update to find out what is new, improved, and changed. Malwarebytes released Malwarebytes 3.1 on May 10, 2017. The new version of the security software brings along with it performance improvements, better memory handling, and quite a few new features and options. Users can download the latest version of the application from the Malwarebytes website. According to Malwarebytes, existing users need to upgrade by downloading the new version from the official website and installing it this way on the target system. Some Malwarebytes users may need to remove the existing version of the software from their systems before they run the installer that installs Malwarebytes 3.1 on the system. Ever since Malwarebytes published Malwarebytes 3, a unified program that combines the company's anti-malware, anti-ransomware and anti-exploit products, users have been complaining about various issues such as high memory usage or the automatic turning off of protective modules with the program. The new version of Malwarebytes addresses some of these issues. From a performance perspective, things have improved in several ways. Memory usage is reduced thanks to improvements in this area. Improved the performance of the web protection module. Third-party applications load faster and are more responsive. The Malwarebytes 3.1 program starts up faster, and is more responsive in the user interface. I have yet to benchmark and compare the program's memory usage before and after the new Malwarebytes 3.1 update. Feel free to share your findings in the comment section below. But performance is only one area with improvements. As far as other under the hood changes are concerned, the following are noteworthy. Malwarebytes 3.1 ships with a new detection and protection layer that uses machine learning based anomaly detection. This feature is rolled out over time to users, even if it shows as enabled already in the settings. Self-protection improvements, disabling protections, or deactivating the license requires elevated privileges. Also, fixed an issue where self-protect would not activate after upgrades. Malware protection and remediation improvements. As far as usability improvements are concerned, there are a few in this area as well. Free users may notice that Malwarebytes 3.1 will run an automatic scan once a month on the system for instance. More interesting than this is that premium users have an option now to turn off real-time protection turned off notifications if they have turned off real-time protection manually. This should do away with some of the Windows Action Center notifications that have bugged Malwarebytes 3 users ever since the official release. Another issue fixed in the new version is the cannot start to scan while another one is in progress when running right-click context scans. Premium users may notice a new system tray icon menu entry that enables them to unblock the last blocked website directly from that menu. This should speed things up significantly when it comes to blocked sites or servers that users want to unblock. The new Malwarebytes 3.1 fixes bugs and issues of the old version of the program. Quite a few crashes have been fixed, for instance some in the web protection module or related to the Malwarebytes service. The annoying starting state of the ransomware protection module should be a thing of the past as well, as Malwarebytes states that this has been fixed in the new version. Verdict. The new Malwarebytes 3.1 introduces much-needed improvements and fixes to the security program for Windows. It is too early to tell if it addresses the bulk of the issues that users experienced in previous versions. It seems likely that it will remedy the situation somewhat, but that more work is needed to address all the issues. Now you, did you upgrade to Malwarebytes 3.1? What's your first impression of the new release? This concludes the tutorial. We hope you had a great time watching the video. If you had, we would be grateful if you liked this video.
If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below, or check out the original article on ghacks.net, the link and the link to the program is in the description below.